there something going on at Paso Robles? You're about our fifth airplane going there today. Oh, not that I know of. I hope the uh, restaurant's not overbooked. We'll see. Thanks. All right, enjoy your time and you can contact departure C. Alpha Charlie, are you able to turn around? I'll follow you on that. One point on the Channel Island. That does it. Welcome aboard. Today we're flying with our good friend and soon to be student pilot, Craig. Craig caught the flying bug on a few previous flights, including a trip from Boise transporting this big guy. Santa Barbara Ground Diamond Star 211 Whiskey Papa uh, Taxi Signature 25, please. Star 211 Whiskey Papa Santa Barbara Ground Runway 25 Taxi via Juliet. 25 via Juliet, almost give up. We probably noticed the runways are numbered with numbers, labeled with numbers. And those numbers are the heading with the last zero dropped. So 25 is heading 250. Got it. Which is almost west. 270 would be magnetic west. And the taxiways are labeled with letters. So we're going to go to Juliet, which hard to see the sign yet. We'll see her here in a second. There's a sign right there. So that's Juliet. Got it. Should cut the grass around there. All right, I'm star 211 Whiskey Papa, holding short 25. Ready for the far departure. I'm Star 211 Whiskey Papa, Santa Barbara Tower, wind 230 at 7 runway 25, clear for takeoff. 25, clear for takeoff, one Whiskey Papa. Okay, so then the four things we have left are fuel pump, mixture goes fully forward, landing light goes on, and the door comes closed. Okay. Then we're going to look for 60 knots on the airspeed, and we use pretty much every inch of the runway. That's wasting any. So here we're going. So now we're going to make sure our RPMs are about 2550. They are. Oil oh. pressure is good. Airspeed's alive. And we're looking for 60 knots. Six zero knots. And there we are. It's just a gentle, not even a pull, just a nudge back. And once we have a good rate of climb, that's this gauge here on yep. the right. Pull the flaps up, put the nose up just a little. I'm sorry, one whiskey pop, a good readout now. And uh, is there something going on at Paso Robles? You're about our fifth airplane going there today. Oh, not that I know of. I hope the uh, restaurant's not overbooked. We'll see. Thanks. All right, enjoy your time and you can contact departure. See you soon. Thank you much. Over to departure. Have a great day. Departure, I'm star 211 Whiskey Papa 1000, climbing 3000 runway heading. 211 Whiskey Papa from departure, radar contact, resume our navigation, can't go to restriction. Oh, nav, nah, on altitude, one Whiskey Papa, thanks. So Let's keep your eyes out for them. There might be helicopters. Yeah, their airspeed's like 30 knots, so that's probably what they are. Too many planes are going to fly at 30 knots. Okay, so you want to fly a little, Craig? Sure. Okay, so are you ready? Uh, your airplane. So we're just going to go to the saddle up there. Just sort of keep this this current heading. Look out there and find some location. See a couple humps. Find a hump and just keep us going that way. And at the current Easy, easier line, said than done. Yeah, it is. I know that. Okay, my plane. Airplane. All right. And I'll give you a, a co-pilot screen up here. So let's keep the speed roughly where it is, between 80 and 85 knots. Okay. Then we'll just sort of keep going that way for a while. Try to keep wings level, unless you're purposely turning. Nope. Look out there and get a feeling for the horizon. I want to probably use about 90% of your time looking outside and maybe 10% checking things inside. So the airspeed's good. And the other thing we'll do for health, health reasons is blast these, these vents. Or it sells as much 
ventilation as we can. Make it feel like outdoors. There you go. If it gets too cold, I can turn the heat on, but I don't think it will. Diamond 1 with you, Papa. Change to my frequency 124.15. 12415, one was coming. Approach 211, what's it about? 5,000, climbing 6,500. There, one, what's it about? Santa Maria, 7 or 2 niner, 9 or 9 -er. Triple niner, one, what's it about? And good morning. The thing I learned last time was yeah. mental. And don't, that's the key is don't overcorrect, just minor corrections. An eye on the horizon, the level wings. If the wings aren't level, then we're gonna we're gonna Three. bank one way or the other and turn. So that's what took you 20 degrees to the right. So do you want to go back? Contact LA Center one one nine. Want to go back left? Way well, again, you turn it. You get it started turning, and then you release. And then once it gets to where you want to be, then you nudge it out of the turn, out of the bank, a level flight. Yeah, like that. I'll just nudge it level. Got there. Got to gauge what's level. Which way are we banking right now? Which wing is low? This one, correct. But you want to lift that up a little by nudging that way. Plus we're about 15 degrees right of course. That's better, good. So we have a little traffic. Lois. And one whiskey bump of traffic, 10 o'clock and a mile and a half, northeast bound to Conquest, 5.5, leveling 6, looking for you. Also looking for the Conquest, one whiskey bump. Traffic. And then we're there, one Papa, radar contact. Approach one whiskey Papa, traffic in sight. No one wishes about the rush. Here, one Julia Fox, that traffic has in sight, who's your mode now? Right there. Definitely out to be restricted. There it is. Doing a good job, keep it up. Oh, now you're good, now level the wings. November 2-0, Charlie, change to my frequency, 125.4. And just let it, let it settle. Level the wings. That's good. Now you're perfectly on. Caesar, Charlie, thanks for all the 101 right base. Easier said than done. Oh, totally. Looking good. Good on heading, good on altitude. I was just going to say, just stay right there. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to start wishing for a slow descent at about 200 feet a minute, so that's, you're currently at 400, but that's going to bounce around. So what you're probably going to want to do is put the nose down a little. Okay. So, so press forward on the stick. Press forward a little. I'll let you know when it's about enough. That should be good. Now hold that pressure, though, because otherwise it's going to come back up. So hold that pressure, and then you twist this wheel, push it, slide it forward, forward. to take away that pressure. Put a little pressure in. A little more. Let's get the nose down. Charlie, contact Air 197. Then push that forward, maybe a half an inch right here. Do a little more. A little more. Let's go for 300 or so. so. Then you press the trim this again. Pop, are you able to push it forward. Hold that. Because we're going to be building up speed. Gives us more lift, which counteracts the trim. So the trim is sort of a continuous thing. And now we got to go 30 degrees that way. It's like a one zero with you maintain. November one with you, Papa. Exit my space northbound. Your radar services terminated. Spark VFR frequency change approved today. Spark VFR one with you, Papa. Have a great day. Left traffic bound. South traffic, Papa Bravo, turning final, 19 Castle traffic, money one with Salimus, turning left base behind Papa Bravo for uh, 19 Castle. Three Delta Charlie's clear, 19 Castle. Everybody's coming up here. Okay, fine job. 
That's my plane. Your plane. And your job is to look for traffic now. There's another plane out here. I'm gonna try to slow down behind them. Yeah, that one there. Pass the traffic white down in Star 1, Whiskey Papa, 1, 3 miles to the south, 3,500, we'll enter uh, 45, left traffic, 1, 9, or pass up. Pass up traffic white down in Star 1, Whiskey Papa, 7 miles to the south, 2,500, we'll follow in after 5, Foxtrot, Romeo, left, uh, 45, left downwind, 1, 9, or pass up. So traffic, that's one two four five Fox Star Romeo is entering. That's down with for one one nine Paso. Paso traffic, that's one two four five Fox Star Romeo is turning base, one one nine full stop, Paso. Paso traffic, right down Star One, Whiskey Papa. On the left, down one one nine, we'll extend our downwind. Uh, full stop, one nine or Paso. I see them. Yup. Yeah. Another way. Paso traffic, right down Star One, Whiskey Papa. Left uh, base, one nine, full stop, Paso. Pass the traffic way down to Star 1, Ski Papa. Final, 19 full stop, Paso. Pass the traffic, that's 245, Fox at Romeo's exiting runway 19 at Charlie, Paso. It's like somebody's holding for us. Doesn't get any more textbook than that one. That was pretty good. Paso traffic way down to Star 1, Ski Papa clearing when we want Niner Paso. We grabbed a tasty lunch at Joe's Diner while enjoying a socially distanced chat with locals. Paso traffic way down to Star 1, Ski Papa taking when we want Niner, take off and departure to the south, Paso. Remember that, we're on the left face right now. Uh, Okay, yeah, you guys should be fine. And Franco, white down to start one, let's give up a just off, one niner, 1,000 climbing, departing to the south, Paso. Here, you can play with this a little. Well, that's probably what 80% of the pilots, both private and professional, use in, in the U.S. called four flights. It's, it's pretty cool. Going to traffic, this green I might have pointed out before is the range we could glide if our engine died. Right, hey, yeah. And it's calculating based on terrain, our altitude, of course, our direction vector. It's pretty, pretty smart for lab. You're always cognizant of your terrain just in case. Oh, particularly in the West Coast, yep or the west of the U.S. Probably in flight school, most instructors probably spend the first 10 hours without anything, like a museum or an iPad like four foot flight. Down for one um, one but then after 10, 15 hours, so the first 10 or 15, they're just the basic gauges and all, and looking outside, and then they'll, they'll go to the to four flight. I'll let George fly a little. Again, we confirm that for that top line, that AP that the autopilot's on, and it's navigating horizontally at the GPS as opposed to heading. Could be the heading or various nav sources, including GPS. And vertically, it's trying to hold 90 knots of indicated airspeed. Santa Barbara Approach, Diamond Star 211, Whiskey Papa, VFR request. Diamond 211, Whiskey Papa, first cut. Yeah, we're about 15 miles south of Paso Robles, 5,500 to climbing, 7,500 VFR to Santa Barbara. Request flight following, please. Turning final, one niner. And one Whiskey Papa, take any destination? Santa Barbara, please. One Whiskey Papa. Oh, Santa Barbara, okay. Uh, Spark 0136. Spark 0136, Santa Barbara, Whiskey Papa, one Whiskey Papa, Santa Barbara. When we took off from Paso, here, here, all right, they, they don't have a tower, but you just, you broadcast, you know, well, the other your, your coordinates to roll around. But, 
No one really answers you back. Hey, how, do you, how do you know, or you just have to assume that other people are listening? Well, if everyone's listening and everyone's reporting their position and their intention, basically that's what they have to report. Their position and intention, then you build, you, each pilot builds a picture of who's where. Okay. And you can supplement that by looking at some traffic here or here. Um, then you make your decision. He's going into uh, Henry Obispo, but he's going to come down here and fly an instrument approach back into back. The runway, I think it's two minor. Well, radios is a big thing when you do your flight training. Initially, it's all going to be what is generally called stick and rudder and looking outside. And then comes radio, like pretty soon thereafter. And uh, there's, there's a lot to, to pick up on the radios. We're on final for the approach. Okay, it's that. I cleared your vehicle down. And weather and airspace. Are you inbound Cavalry? That's firm. It's a, uh, you know, the GPS turns us in that quick at this speed. Yeah, I'm sorry. We, we, uh, yeah, we just, I thought it was good out. It's clear for the approach, so we just, uh, you know, it turned us inbound. Guy made a mistake. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting you to do that. It's supposed to go down. He's somewhere there now. He's supposed to come down here, do what's called a course reversal. Golf is with you at 5500 level. Want to fly some more? Yeah, it's multiple at the same time. One pop of fox shot. Uh, open okay, center, so when you're ready, uh, just say your plane. Three, eight, your plane. Nine, my plane. Your plane. I'm looking good, my friend. Okay, back to work. <laughs> well, I'm constantly being pressure to altitude. I told you I want to move. So you want to slide this back like a quarter of an inch and see if that takes away the pressure. So the sequence is you'll pull with pressure, pull this back until that pressure's gone, then check, sort of hands off, and if it holds, then you're good. Remember, don't. Don't focus here. Most of the time, both out here and then glance and back out. We're doing a fine job. And now we're going to start a little descent. Now we're going to do a, a little nose down pressure. Okay. And that'll probably also need some little bit of trim down. If we'd like maybe Three or four hundred feet a minute on this scale over here. The heading's good. Good. And then trim to hold that kind of a descent. Again, as the speed picks up, you'll need to keep keep the nose down a little and a little by little. Approach Diamond Star 211 Whiskey Papa, 7,200 feet sending. With Alpha, full stop, Santa Barbara. Davis R2, well, well, whiskey, Papa, Santa Barbara approach, follow the freeway and a right base, throw one five right. Follow the freeway, right base, one five right, one was five, thanks. Billy, are you looking okay, to turn good. out to follow the shoreline eastbound until advised? Sure can. Yeah, Shelly, follow the shoreline eastbound, I'll follow you on that. Focus on one point on the oh. channel island. That does it. Okay, so you can keep that 500 foot a minute descent coming. I'm pulling back the power, which is this one. I'm pulling that back gradually also. Let's go left now. Oh, that's a good descent. Just gonna keep that up. What a pretty day out there. A little hazy, but pretty. Okay, my friend, nice job. My plane. Your plane. My plane. Awesome. Hello, Thank you so much. Approach one, Whiskey Papa. Do you want me over to tower? That was our one, Whiskey Papa. A firm being contact tower, 119.7. Great. Have a great day. One, Whiskey Papa. Tower, I'm star 211, Whiskey Papa. Uh, request 15 left to table. Star 211 Whiskey Papa, Santa Barbara Tower, change to runway 15 left. Wind at 200 at 7, runway 15 left, clear to land, travel depart runway 25 prior regional jet. 15 left, clear to land, one Whiskey Papa, thanks. And he's 
cleared us to land. And one five left. We're gonna come up and around to the right. Correct. We're gonna come down here to a little angle to the left and then to the right on uh, heading one five. So there's one five. In fact, the runway is one five three. And somebody just took off on runway two five. Traffic, one o'clock, same altitude, two miles. And he was restricted to runway heading, so going out that way. And sorry, one was Papa travel go to part the parallel runway prior, uh, Bonanza. Roger, one was Papa. Flaps created a lot of resistance. Uh, the prop? Yeah. The flaps. Oh, the flaps, definitely, oh yeah. They create a lot of, the first notch creates a little more lift than it does drag. The second one is a lot of drag. And that's what they're there for. They're there as a form of speed brake. Star one whiskey pop to say parking. Signature please, one whiskey pop. Number one whiskey pop, roger, uh, left turn, contact ground point seven. Left and ground, one whiskey pop, have a great day. You too. If you enjoyed this video, Please hit subscribe below and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for flying.